A full-length trailer for Sonic 3 has just been released, with a few months until the movie's premiere. While fans saw a few characters in the entire Sonic series make their big screen debut, many are drawing attention to the fact that Amy appears hidden in the Sonic 3 movie trailer. It seems like there was no end to the possibilities for other franchise characters to make an appearance in the third live-action Sonic the Hedgehog movie, especially after the post credit scene from that movie revealed Shadow the Hedgehog would be joining the next one. Perhaps the most anticipated Sonic character, Amy Rose, made her big screen debut in the recently released Sonic 3 movie trailer. Some keen-eyed fans on X appear to believe Amy is hiding in plain sight during a scene in the first trailer for the movie where Ben Schwartz's Sonic is restrained alongside his friends Knuckles and Tails. Viewers who have increased the image have noticed what appears to be a pink reflection scattered across the ground. This suggests that Amy may be either digitally removed to keep the scene surprised for opening day, or she may be tied up with Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Even though Amy's possible appearance in the upcoming Sonic movie threequel is less than definitive, it would still not be shocking if Amy appeared in it. At this point, Amy has been a part of the franchise for over three decades. That is even longer than the legendary Shadow the Hedgehog, who will appear in the next movie on the big screen for the first time. Fans have been requesting Amy's inclusion in the Sonic 3 film ever since it was initially announced. Still, no formal announcement of the character's presence in the movie has been released to the public. Since Amy has been part of the Sonic video game series for a longer period of time than some of the other prominent characters who feature in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, it seems inevitable that she will make her big screen debut. The mythology and the setting of the video games have been fully incorporated into the Sonic movie series over time. In Sonic 2, a number of the game's locals as well as characters like Tails and Knuckles are introduced, whereas Sonic 1 was a fairly simple Earth-based Sonic story. A Sonic fan reported in May 2024 that Tails voice actress Colleen O'Shaganassi smiled suspiciously when asked about the subject at a convention, but otherwise remained silent. This is not to say that Amy will definitely feature in Sonic 3 films, but considering previous Sonic movie franchise precedents, it would make sense for a character to eventually surface. Well, Sonic, what do you think? Do you like my party dress? A character like Amy seems like the next logical step if the Sonic film universe is to keep expanding. Amy Rose is one of Sonic's most important friends, but she has yet to appear in the films. I have wanted to see Amy Rose and even Rogue the Bat in a live action Sonic the Hedgehog movie since the first one. But from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 trailer, I'm beginning to think that the film is too packed. I am really excited about this one since I am a huge fan of Sonic adventure games. And it looks like the movie is going all in on telling Shadow's origin story. But there is so much happening in the upcoming movie as the trailer is shown. There is hardly any room for Amy or Rogue. However, the fact that Amy plays a significant role in Sonic Adventure 2 is a major factor in the rumors surrounding the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie. In the last story chapter of the game, the space station where Shadow was created, Space Colony Arc, is programmed to crash into Earth, potentially resulting in a catastrophic end of world scenario. Shadow remembers that he had promised Maria he would help save humanity before before she passed away when Amy begs him to do so. Had Amy not said those words, Shadow would have never helped Sonic stop the arc from destroying the planet. Although Amy plays a significant role in Shadow's character development in the games, it appears that the main plot of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 may not include her given the lack of information regarding her appearance. Nonetheless, it would make sense for the movie franchise to introduce her as soon as possible giving her a longevity in the franchise and how noticeable she becomes in later games. If her major role in the story is isn't guaranteed by her inspiration from the game Sonic the Hedgehog 3, she might still make an appearance in the movie because of one unexpected medium. Even though everything could happen in the post credit scene of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Amy's introduction would be the ideal way to start the next adventure. Her movie debut could wait until the post credit scene of the film rather than during the main feature. She could still have a role in the film and an explanation for why she hasn't been confirmed, even though this would remove her from Shadow's story in the fictional world. Plus, it would paved the way for a remake of the game she made in her gaming debut. Amy initially made an appearance in the 93 video game Sonic CD where the story revolved around Robotnik's use of Time Stone artifacts to carry out his most recent evil plot. Metal Sonic, Sonic's robotic opponent and one of his most iconic enemies, is also introduced to the series in this game. It wouldn't be shocking if Amy's introduction in the films mirrored how significant the concepts from the game became to the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. Perhaps she ushers in a Sonic CD 
value modification for Sonic the Hedgehog 4 rather than being part of Shadow's story. Sonic the Hedgehog 4 may more easily present Amy as a new hero on the team if her debut takes place in conjunction with the Sonic CD adaptation. This would give her enough time to develop a bond with the group, like her crush on Sonic, while acting as a catalyst for the group's resistance to the new threat. You saved me, Sonic! I was afraid I'd never be able to flirt with you again. Her arrival might also provide a more solid foundation for Metal Sonic's premiere, possibly granting her a more significant role in the narrative when it's adapted for the big screen. Although Amy might still appear during Sonic the Hedgehog 3's events, it might be more appropriate for her to appear in the scene after her credits. Though it might take longer for her to appear, setting the stage for a Sonic CD adaptation would give her more in-depth characterization when she does. It wouldn't be shocking if she made a brief appearance and help set the stage for another adventure. Considering how strong of a contender she is to become the next major Sonic the Hedgehog character in the film universe. Rogue has a greater chance of showing up out of the two because of how closely her persona relates to Shadow's beginnings. That being said, it would be quite challenging to include Amy in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 which is unfortunate given her significance to the series. The plot of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 now has to revolve around four major characters from the video games in addition to the live action characters from the movie series. Given how packed the trailer for the third movie looks, I am not sure how they could even manage to include Amy or Rose in this picture. I believe that Sonic the Hedgehog 4 would be a better place for Amy and Rogue to appear in the film series rather than trying to fit them into Sonic the Hedgehog 3. In addition, Keanu Reeves' Shadow the Hedgehog would probably overshadow both characters even if they made an unexpected cameo. As a result, neither character was given the screen time they deserved. That's why I believe it would be wiser to keep these characters for use in later films, reserving their use for after the epic Shadow Saga being over. What Knuckles was to the second movie in Shadow to the third, Amy could certainly be a compelling enough reason for a fourth Sonic the Hedgehog film. Despite Rogue's lesser known status than Amy, her possible involvement in a B story alongside Shadow makes her the ideal means for Sonic the Hedgehog 4 to carry on telling the Sonic adventure tales. Regrettably, I believe that saving Amy and Rogue is the best course of action because it is best for Sonic the Hedgehog films to allow their new characters some breathing room. The third installment of Sonic the Hedgehog can establish Amy and Rogue's future in the film series, even though they may not have a significant role in it. In the post credit sequence of Sonic the Hedgehog, Tails was introduced, and in the same scene of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Shadow was introduced. I could definitely see Amy making an appearance in the post credit scene of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, laying the groundwork for her story in Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.